Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. The second time in season two. <laughs> this is my son Jonathan and he is going to be helping me here in the kitchen today. Today we are going to be following a recipe and using some measurement. We're going to be using cups and half cups and tablespoons and teaspoons. And don't forget to watch the all the videos from season one to see into an order. <laughs> John would like for you to watch some of his other videos as well. The recipe that we are baking today is for snickerdoodles. We need one and a half cups of sugar, one cup of butter, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, three cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Also, in another little dish, you're gonna to put together two tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. That's for our topping. So John, the first thing that we're gonna do is we have one cup of butter in our bowl, and now we need to look at our recipe, and we are gonna put in one and a half cups of sugar. We are going to use the one cup measurement for dry ingredients. We're not going to use our one cup for liquid measurement. Now, mm -hmm. I will measure it out. Hmm. Could you put that in for us, please? Sure. We used to do this all the time. We did used to do a lot of baking, but it's summer, so we don't do as much baking. And also my brother Matt used to make these cookies a lot. We are making snickerdoodles, and they are Matthew's favorite, and Matthew is John's big brother. Now, he we took me to a song movie at the theaters. We already put in one cup, and now we need to put in half of a cup. Could you please put that in, in as well? Oh dear, we may have to wash our hands again. All right. I act I didn't actually put my finger in. No, that's right. And that's something to remember that when we're baking or cooking, we should not put our hands in our mouths. All right, I'm going to have you um, squish that all together with the fork. You're going to blend those together. Class, I hope that you have an opportunity to do some baking today. Baking and cooking are wonderful ways to practice practicing measurement. All right, so you have done a great job, Jonathan, getting that sugar all combined. And so now we are gonna add some eggs. My hand's getting tired. Oh, thank you so much for all that hard work. I'm gonna crack the egg into a smaller bowl because... It's probably time for me to use my left hand. Oh, that's a good I'm idea. I'm right-handed. You are. I wonder if our friends are right-handed or left-handed. Now I am going to put a little bit of vanilla in here as well and for vanilla we're going to use one teaspoon. Could you hold the teaspoon just like this? Do you remember which is bigger, a teaspoon or a tablespoon? Do you remember? Of course. Which one? Smallest. The teaspoon is smaller because a teacup is smaller than a table tablespoons are larger. So you are going to put that all in. The oh. eggs, which we have from our chickens, because we have chickens outside, don't we? Of course one of them died. It's a very sad story, but we won't talk about it on the video. Would you like to put the eggs in? Sure. Okay, so you're going to put the eggs in, and that was two eggs. Sure. We have doubled our recipe because we have a lot of people at our house who really like cookies. You are doing a great job getting this all blended together, Jonathan. Oh, now, we put in, oh, I will move that. We put in one teaspoon of vanilla. And now we're going to use the half of a teaspoon. Is half a teaspoon bigger or smaller than a teaspoon? No. It is. It's smaller because it's only half. So we're going to put in half a teaspoon of salt. Could you put that in for me, please? I'm going to put it on here. Perfect. Perfect. I put it on my fork. 
and then there it will be even easier to scoop. And then I also need half a teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm gonna have you put that in as well. Sure. Thank you, sir. Alpha drop. Was it? Boom. And then we need half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. So we have a lot of half of a teaspoon. We have three different things that required half of a teaspoon. John, could you put the cream of tartar in as well, please? Perfect. Now I have to cover two things. And then I'm gonna have you blend all of that together. Sure. We only have one more thing to put in our cookies and that is flour. And so we have quite a bit of flour to go in our cookies. We have three cups. Now you'll notice that I'm using this cup because it is for dry ingredients. Do you want to put in the flour or do you want me to put it in? One. Why are we putting flowers in? Not cake? flowers, silly. Flour. Oh, I need just a little bit more flour. That was only one cup. That was one cup. How many do we need to put in? Three, which means two more. That's right. Here, I'm going to have you put another one in. Well, we're going to make a white castle. It does look very white right now. Oopsies. All right, and then we only have one more cup to put in and then we're all done. We'll just need to stir it after that. And then the next video we'll make is going to be card. Yeah, we can do the card video next. And I'm going to win. Jonathan's excited because we are going to be playing cards later. Today. All right, let's stir this all up. So going to be because I beat her once, and I beat my sister. It smells jacked. Right now I'm using my left hand, even though it doesn't get a lot of exercise. Remember that in recipe books, sometimes they don't write out the full word like cup, or tablespoon, or teaspoon. They often use abbreviations. John, do you remember what the abbreviation is for cup? It's just one letter. C. It is C. And then for tablespoon, would it be T. A? It is a T. Is it a big T or a little T for tablespoon? It's a big T. And for teaspoon, is it a little T or a big T? Little. It is a little one. You're right. So when you're looking at your recipe, I want you to look and see if you can remember the abbreviations. Class, I am so glad that you came to bake with me today. And I hope that you have an opportunity to do some baking so that you can practice measuring with cups and tablespoons and teaspoons. I want you to pay special attention to the abbreviations on your recipe. And remember, a recipe is a list of ingredients and directions for baking or for cooking. Oh class, I hope that you have a wonderful, tasty math day today. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi there guys, this is Jonathan here. I'm going to chew the cookie, so let's do it. Meeny, meeny, miny, you. Here, you try it.